Good evening, prostrates, and welcome to the Maggot Has Nothing Better to Do show. Seeing as how it's National Literature Week, or some such drivel, tonight I thought I'd sift through my immense piles of books here on my table and read a few to you. Let's see here. And so he thrust his quivering... No. As her undulating... No. As the sensual... No. You know, folks, I'm beginning to sense a pattern here. Frugal? All I got here on my table is soft core smut. Why is that? What? Do you expect me to believe you'd rather read Gone with the Wind? Well, isn't there that one with the alternate ending? That was Dan on this planet. Was it the part where that chick beat up a bunch of Union soldiers with the severed spine of that butler guy? That would be the one. I see. Well, there's got to be something here. Let's see. To apply product, press no. 101 ways to pronounce gigolo. Yeah. Where do you get these things, boy? I found them in Borgoth's room. Figures. You're listening to The Maggot Show. God knows why. <laughs> Coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> oh my god! We've got ourselves a problem. No, you just can't do that! We have ourselves an enemy. Please, no! That cannot think, cannot feel. What you're proposing is suicide! Do you have a better idea, soldier? But nonetheless could destroy us all. Hey, cool. They got a blimp. Mm, yeah. Who you call a jerk, you long hair, fat belly, goofy, tattooed, 60s, throwback village, people want to be biker free? Get a hold of yourself, soldier! You know, I've never been attracted to another man before. You know, we want logical explanation. Space mutants! All stars, Heaven, I don't like the looks of that. That's by sucking! The Wedding by Pain Giver Entertainment Division. Hello again. I am your ever-benevolent host, the Maggot. And as always, this is my co-host, Frugal. Say something entertaining. There is no escape. No escape. Eh, shut up. Hatred. Distraction. Political party affiliation. Well, apparently Frugal's in one of those moods. Hey. Oh, God, Frugal. What did you do while I was at the vending machines? Oh, Lord. Perhaps I can explain a little to you innocents out there. Frugal apparently has a rather negative reaction to the half-smut in modern romance novels. Excuse me while I hit my studio assistance button here. Yeah, Frugal's fucked his mind. So what do you want me to do about it? Get the bloody nurse. Hit him in the head with a hammer or something. That never works. And he'll never take the pills. Then give him some laced potato chips. God, do I have to think of everything? Okay, now that that's all straightened out, got some game reviews for you. Let's see, latest review. Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, fresh off the Clag Brzingi Press. Review by Tang Morg Love Evil. It reads as follows. <coughs> Miriam Godwinson is an incomprehensible bitch. University kicks ass. Well, I'm sure that was very informative. Stay with us. You're still listening to the maggot show. I'm beginning to suspect there's something wrong with you. <coughs> you tired of wussy games where you buy real estate and roll dice and trade cards? Games where you're elected chairman of the frickin' board and they expect you to pay the other players? Well, we've got just what you need. Maggotopoly, the latest project by the Forge of Maggot Incorporated, changes all that. None shall dispute your rule once this game is acquired. Let them sit in their beloved park.
dark place while you rain death upon their people, relishing the screams of the dying. May they receive their rent in the bodies of their loved ones. Maganopoly board games will never be the same. We're back, and we're going to the phones. There's apparently some comments on Love Evil's review of Alpha Centauri. Billy Godwinson of the Lord's Grace, you're on the air. How dare you make fun of the Lord's believers? You who are so cold and godless that even your own people shun your darkness. Actually... The university is nothing more than a spoiled sect of heathenistic machine worshippers. They would bring death to their souls and bring us with them. Well, I think... Your unholy beliefs shall not taint the ears of the virtuous. You and your... That's it. Punish him. Next caller. Yeah, like, is Frugal single? Like, what sort of things is he into? Like, that's so cool. Like, I really... Shut up before you get hurt. Next caller. I like flowers. And this is of what significance to me? You should get some flowers. They smell nice. Yeah, no more callers. A few more minutes of this, and I'd have no choice but to scour this planet of life. Well, Frugal, do you have anything to add? Stop looking at my butt. Don't flatter yourself. Well then, until next time, this is the Maggot, ordering you to tune in next week, lest you be devoured alive by giant ants. Ta!